This is Fitness Blender's Glute and Thigh Workout for a Bigger Butt. In this routine, we're going to be going 5 minutes straight through without any rest. The only rest you're going to be getting in this routine is moving from one exercise into the next. We're only going to be going through one round straight through, and you're not going to need any equipment. Now we haven't included a warm up or a cool down, so make sure you add one in on your own. Now with that said, let's go get started with our first exercise, the reverse lunge with a rear leg lift, starting with that left leg forward. So this is a traditional rear lunge, you should be stepping back with that right leg, drop it down nice and low, try to keep your torso straight up and down, try to get that rear knee down as close to the ground as you possibly can, try to keep that front knee back over top of your foot or your ankle. Every single time you come up from that lunge, you're going to lift your right leg and squeeze it up, get a nice tight squeeze on that glute muscle on that right side, and then drop right back down into that lunge again. Now we're almost halfway through, we got about 30 seconds left. Now whenever doing a lunge, you're always going to have a tendency to want to lean forward onto that front leg. So make sure that every single time you drop that rear leg onto the ground, you're trying to evenly distribute your weight between your front and your rear leg. Try not to let that front leg do all the work. Now we're almost done, just about 15 seconds left. Just keep this motion going nice and slow under control, still trying to get a really nice deep lunge every single time. In about 5 seconds we're going to switch to a lunge pull, so you're going to stay down nice and low. Switch it up, get that rear leg back behind you and drop it down just a few inches at the very bottom of that range of motion. Don't come all the way back up. You want to try to keep that knee really nice and low. Just keep it going, we've got 20 seconds left. Now we're almost done, just about 10 seconds left. Keep that lunge really nice and low. Remember, try just to get a few inches at the bottom of that range of motion. We're going to be switching over to the right leg here in just a second. No rest. Just switch it straight over. Get that right leg forward this time. Left leg back behind you. Doing that reverse lunge with that leg lift. Now remember, this is the exact same motion you were doing just a second ago with that left leg forward. Just step back with that left leg, get a nice deep lunge, and then lift that left leg back up behind you. Get a nice tight squeeze on that butt. Also, make sure you're evenly distributing that weight from that front to rear leg every single time you drop down in that lunge. We're just about halfway. Keep checking that lunge motion. Make sure you're getting a really nice deep lunge every single time. Get that knee down as close to the ground as possible. I know those legs are starting to get tired. Just keep that motion as clean as you can. Also, watch that rear leg raise. You want to try to get a really tight squeeze on that left leg. Try not to tip forward. You want to try to keep that torso straight up and down or relatively close to it to make sure that glute muscle is doing more work. Now we're almost done. We're going to drop into the lunge pulses here in just a second. And go ahead and drop right into those lunge pulses. Get really nice and low, just a couple of inches, the very bottom of that range of motion. Keep it down there. Make sure those legs start burning. And we're almost done, you have 10 seconds left. Keep that motion going. I know those legs are burning. Try to get those legs down nice and low. Try to get that knee closer to the ground if you can. Just a few seconds left. And let it relax. Go ahead and stand up. We're gonna be doing a double dip squat next. Those feet just a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. And then you're gonna drop down into a really nice deep squat, do a couple of pulses, and then come right back up again. Just keep repeating that motion over and over again. This isn't a real complex motion, but it's gonna burn those legs out like crazy if you're doing it right. So make sure you're getting really low, get those thighs at least parallel to the ground if you can, and try to keep that pulse as low as you possibly can, just a couple of inches at the very bottom of that range of motion every single time. Now just keep that going over and over again. Those legs are gonna start burning here any second if they're not already. And we're just about halfway done. Keep checking that form. Make sure you're keeping it nice and clean, getting nice and low every single time. As those legs get more and more tired, they're going to start trying to keep you from going down lower. You're going to start doing more and more of a shallow squat. So try to override it. Try to force yourself to go down as low as possible every single time. Now I've got just a few seconds left till we're done with this exercise. Keep it going nice and strong. Now I wish I could tell you we've got an easier one coming up for you, but unfortunately that's not the case. We've got static squats coming up next to really burn those legs out. And go ahead and drop it down and hold it. We've got a 30 second hold on this. Try to keep those hips nice and low. Thighs parallel to the ground if you can. Just hold it and get comfy. 20 seconds left. 
Now we have just about 15 seconds left until this exercise is finished. And then we have one more to go until this routine's completely done. Now I've saved one of the worst ones. Now that those legs are completely tired and completely worn out, we've got squat pulses next. So we're gonna really burn those legs out. Stand up, shake those legs out for a second, drop it right back down. Squat pulses at the very bottom of that range of motion. So keep checking yourself because those legs are so tired that squat's gonna get higher and higher and higher and higher. So make sure you're constantly keeping those hips down every single pulse. We're almost done, just 15 seconds left. Just keep pushing through that muscle burn. And that's five seconds left. Force those hips down really nice and low. You're almost done. And let it relax. All right, good job. This workout is complete. Shake those legs out. You just finished Fitness Blender's glute and thigh workout for a bigger butt.